Uh, speaking of field, he's on the field an awful lot. He is the head head uh, softball coach for the United Eagles. Sam Mathias joining joining us on the MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning Hotline. Coach, how are you today? Oh, just wonderful. It looks like opening day for baseball is uh, right where it's supposed to be with snow flying in areas. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but- we can't complain, though. Last year at this time, we weren't having a season, so... A little snow on April Fool's Day, I'll take it. Mother Nature for the win, as as we yeah. are going to say today. I wake up and there's a little bit of snow on the ground, and I'm like, all right, Mother Nature, you uh, you pulled a fast one on us. Uh, and yep. no, nobody's pulling a fast one on your uh, softball team. I, I've said for years, uh, your kids down in Hanoverton, country strong, they love to hit the softball around. Absolutely. Uh, we've got a, a very good group this year. Um, we're, we're actually very young this year. We've only got three seniors. The rest of them are underclassmen, and um, eight of them are sophomores and freshmen, so they've really never stepped onto a high school field. And uh, we've started out really strong this year, and we're hoping for big things down here in United. Yeah, and you guys are off to a 3-0 and start with, well, let's talk about the opening, opening, uh, opening season win over Sebring. You coach girls basketball at Sebring. And then you get to open the season against you see you bring with softball. What was that like for you to kind of flip the switch and then go play against Sebring, who you coached for the basketball season? Well, it, it was a little challenging because uh, five of my, uh, well, actually six of my basketball players play on the softball team. So I know how hard those kids work. I know that they're not going to give up. And um, Sebring gave us a battle. They're a very nice team up there. Um, we struggled hitting right off the bat being opening day. And I told my girls, I said, you're not going to make those girls quit over there because they play for me in basketball and they don't do that. And uh, we were able to put things together and get a win there. But it was nice talking to the girls uh, from Sebring after the game, telling them they did a good job. And I keep in contact with them throughout their season to see how they're doing up there as well. Coach, was there any trash talking going on? Um, well, I might have mentioned a couple things. Uh, Sir Jason was one of my guards, and uh, she made a couple of nice plays. And then when she didn't make a play, I might have said a couple things to her. But Delaney takes it very well. We we had a good time with each other. You you, you weren't uh, you weren't basically telling the kids uh, suicides will be uh, will be doubled uh, when the first practice comes around later in the year, did you? No, no, not at all. I mean, it was a good game for both of us to get out there. Um, Sebring was supposed to play Campbell, and they ended up with some COVID cases and couldn't play that day. So we were lucky enough to open up our season a little bit earlier and get on the field. It was a great day for softball. So, no, those kids are great kids. I enjoy um, those kids up there. And right now I'm enjoying our kids just tremendously right now. You open the EOAC season with a sweep of East Palestine, two dramatically different games. The first game in East Palestine, you guys had to kind of come back from a deficit. You were down 13-7 to in the top of the seventh. You batted around and ended up winning 14-13. to Then in the second game, 13-1. to I mean, Torrey Firth pitched really well in the circle in that second game, seven, uh, seven strikeouts and five innings pitched. Talk about the adjustments that were made between Game 1 and Game 2 and, and how nice it is to get off to a 2-0 start in the conference. Well, it's, it's great to con- keep control of your own destiny being undefeated in the conference. Um, we have high hopes that we can compete for a league title this year. We know it's going to be very challenging with what Columbiana and Lisbon are bringing back, but um, it's just one day at a time for us. Um, the first league game there, we didn't play stellar softball. We made some miscues that we shouldn't have and some timely hitting by East Palestine. They're a very gutsy team. They, they didn't give up when we got up on them early. They came fighting back. And then i got to give all the credit to my girls being down uh, six runs in the top of the seventh inning. And the last thing I told them before I walked out to third base was, we've got to bat around a couple times, ladies. That's all I can tell you. And they took one at bat at a time, and we just kept pushing and pushing. And we're lucky enough to escape there with a win. And uh, I think it was a, a wake-up call for some of our girls going into game two there that Palestine just wasn't going to roll over and let us uh, win. So the second game, I mean, it was the most focused defensively, offensively. Uh, we have played all season long, even in our scrimmages. We had ups and downs, um, some peaks and valleys there. But we always want to make those valleys as little or as short as possible and get to those peaks and ride those out as long as we can. United head softball coach Sam Mathias joining us on the MP Vivo 
heating and air conditioning hotline. Coach, you made mention that you have a lot of sophomores and freshmen on your team, and, and I bring this up because last year there was no spring sports. So the last time you had spring sports, the sophomores and freshmen were both in junior high. That's quite an adjustment to make uh, to uh, go right into to a high school softball. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're used to playing on teams um, that are your own age level coming up through, and now you're thrown into playing against uh, 17, 18-year-old girls that uh, possibly have played either a lot of travel ball or have two or three years of high school ball underneath their um, backs there. But, I mean, these, these girls, especially the freshmen, uh, they come in and they're very focused. They're very athletic. They um, are doing a nice job of pushing the team forward to where there's competition every day in our practices, in our games. Um, the three games that we've already talked about, I've had three different starting lineups each day because the 14 girls that we have, they're, they're all great kids. They all work hard. They all do something different for us. And it's just nice to know that if somebody gets hurt or somebody gets sick or whatever happens down the line, we can just plug the next piece in and move on. And there's really no like down in that position we got somebody else to fill it in and there's there's nobody on this squad that is nailed into one spot they know that they can play multiple spots and uh, i mean that really helps us out let's talk about the the fittingly named bad sisters that you uh, call savannah <laughs> and and uh colby burton who are just off to a great offensive start talk about what they bring to your lineup and, and how well they're hitting right now well um first before before we start about them i got to give all the credit with the hitting stuff to um, Matt Zines, who's been helping us out. His daughter's a freshman for us this year, but he helped us last year when we started to get into softball with hitting. Um, The guy's a wealth of knowledge. I couldn't ask for anybody else better on our staff with what he has done. And the kids have bought into every little drill that he has uh, taught them in the last two years, and it's um, carried over into our games this year. And Savannah and uh, Colby are two of the ones where when they were younger you could always see the potential in them but we just couldn't get them to fire and he's found a way to get them to fire right now um savannah probably one of the best senior leaders you'll ever want to have she shows up every day and it doesn't matter where you put her on the field whether she's catching one day playing third the next in the outfield the third day she's going to play hard for you um she swings the bat just i mean I get scared sometimes down at third base. It's going to come rocking it at me, and it's going to hurt when it hits me. But um, she's just a great kid to be around, Uh, three-sport athlete. You couldn't ask for a better kid. And then Colby is kind of the opposite. She's just like a quiet kid that goes about her job and does it. But, I mean, her hitting this year, she is just hitting monstrous shots, um, really timing up the ball, centered it up really well. And it's kind of nice to have two sisters on the team that are doing that. And, um, they, they kind of laughed at the article the other day when I did mention them as the Bash sisters. I'm like, well, let's ride it out. It'll give them something to talk about in the papers. United head softball coach Sam Mathias joining us on the MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning Hotline. Coach, I know you got to go back to teaching, which uh, which is a big thing, doing uh, doing the duty there. But before we let you go, let's handicap the uh, the EOAC. Uh, this is a good division. Uh, you got some really, really good softball teams. Tr- Columbia is obviously a traditionally strong team year in, year out. Uh, other than Columbia, give us some of the uh, some of the teams that you're going to be super focused on in this uh, very, very competitive league of yours. Well, I mean, we're focused on every team. There's not one team that I'm going to say is um, that much better than the other ones. Uh, Columbia, by far, on paper is league favorite um, but we don't play them till the end of the season so we're trying to get better getting into that right now um, we play Lisbon Monday and Tuesday and we're just trying to get better for Monday and the next few practices because Lisbon's going to be right up there as well he, uh, Dave's got some nice pitchers over there some hitters that are coming back from two years ago that could really pound the ball and put a lot of pressure on you so um, I think those are your top two teams right there and it's just going to come down to how they play each other, if they split or somebody sweeps, and maybe how we play each one of those teams. But um, the other ones are no slouches. Like I said, East Palestine was uh, a very good team that just fought hard. They're young, but they fought hard both games against us. Um, we haven't seen anything on Southern because they didn't get to open up in league play yet. But uh, Wellsville and Letonia, they kind of had a tough 
go of it there, playing the top two teams in the league right off the bat. But there's no easy day. I mean, you make two or three errors in a game, and anybody can come up and bite you. So we're just working each day to try to have as clean of a game as possible and hit the ball as far as we can each time. All right, before we let you go, again, I know Ron just said that, but you talked about Savannah. Can you just give a spotlight to the, your other two seniors and what they bring to the program? Absolutely. Uh, Cassidy Everhart, she's going to be a four-year letter winner for us this year. Um, a great kid. I mean, she's always got a smile on her face, always encouraging the other kids. Um, you can't say enough about her. She's playing third for us. She's been doing a little bit DP this year as well. And uh, Madison Boyle, who's been playing outfield for us, uh, she'll be a three-year starter for us. Um, again, another nice kid. She is just so quick and anticipates the ball so well in the outfield. It's very nice to have her covering ground out there. And um, She's quick and very aggressive on the base paths, which um, is nice to see. It gives a good example for our younger kids. But the three of them, they're, they're great. I mean, I cannot say enough about them. They're, you couldn't ask for three better seniors to be leaders for this young group this year. Coach, i got to ask out of curiosity, what do you teach? What, what subject do you teach? I teach uh, history and English. I actually teach in a juvenile detention center, so I get the, the good kids. But, um, yeah, it's, it's fun times. I like enjoying these kids. They don't like school per se when they come in here, but we try to find some good things that they like to do and build upon that and uh, try to get them the best education they can while we have them. That is uh, Yeoman's work, and we definitely appreciate the people that can do that because I think it takes a special person. And uh, we definitely thank you for the, for doing that, and we th- thank you for coaching uh, not just your basketball team but, but your softball team as well. That's a lot of time that you put into these athletes. Well, I, I got great help with me. Like I mentioned already, uh, Coach Zines does a great job with our hitters. My assistant coach, Aaron Bryceland, does an amazing job with our pitching staff and our catchers, and she's a former united player there so um, just like me graduating from united she has the same passion into it of uh, wanting to see this thing succeed and build um, upon it there and um, just like our our basketball team that did so well for the girls our community members are just coming out we had our first home game tuesday and it was just it seemed packed out there and the energy was great so um, it's not just me i got a bunch of great people around me that are helping these kids and we're just going to keep moving forward one day at a time well, Coach, as a Letonia graduate, I understand all too well about the small town uh, uh, backing, and and it is United is one of those special places uh, in Columbiana County. I love the people down there, love the school district. Uh, it, you guys do it right down there. You support your kids the right way, and uh, all the all 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 the respect in the world for your uh, for your program. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We we work hard down there, and uh, hopefully we get the results that we want at the end of the season. All right, Coach. Uh, best of luck to you the rest of the year, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You as well. Sam Mathias, the head softball coach, who is also uh, the basketball coach for Sebring. He is the softball coach for his, uh, his alumni, uh, United.